Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and today we are playing with The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Times Revolution palette. Um, I'm excited. I love The Simpsons. I used to watch it all the time. I've probably seen every episode of The Simpsons um, numerous times. I love The Simpsons. So when I saw that Revolution were going to do a collab with The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror sort of theme for Halloween, I was very excited. Um, this is the outer packaging. I love it. And then the palette looks exactly the same. Um, this palette is £20. It's currently out of stock on Beauty Bay, but I got mine from the Revolution website. Um, and I think I've got a little discount code as well with Rev20, R-E-V-2-0. Um, sorry if you can hear all the traffic outside my window. It's rather warm in here and I don't want to sweat my makeup off, so please bear with. The inside of the palette. Can you see this? Yes. Stunning variety of colours and shimmers. Um, I recently tried the Cut Thrive palette with Revolution and I was really impressed actually with the quality of that. Um, if I remember, I'll link the video down below so you can check it out. But that's what made me want to actually buy this and try it because although I love The Simpsons, Revolution's quality is hit or miss. Um, but after trying the Corpse Bride palette, the upstairs downstairs one, I was like, yes, I need to get the Simpsons palette. So here we are. You might be able to see in some of the pans, there are little imprints of either Bart, Maggie or Lisa um, in a skeleton type form. Um, I'm really liking the size of the palette. It's not too big, not too small, lots of variety, little tiny bit of depth. Um, I would have liked a little bit more depth but we'll see what we can do. Okay, I've primed with my Revlon Candid Concealer as usual, and I'm thinking I want to start out with Black Magic um, so that I can get the depth I want on the outer corner, which is that shade there. It actually looks a bit browny. It's like a deep brown. I was hoping it would be black because it's called Black Magic. Maybe it'll look black on the eye, who knows? Let's see. I'm gonna take this Peaches and Cream PC37 brush and Let's see what we've got here. Okay, that's pigmented. Is that black though, or is it brown? Am I just colour blind? Does everybody else know what this colour is and I don't? I mean, you'd think it'd be black being called black magic. Well, that has gone down beautiful and pigmented and I feel like that would be a very easy shade to blend out. Um, yeah, impressed so far. That has given me some depth. And this may be hard to blend from one to the other, but I'm gonna go in with Bearded Lady, which is a blue here. Um, I'm, not, I'm still not sure what I'm doing yet, but let's just test the pigment. I'm going to take this on a PC37 as well and try and blend around that last shade. I may have to go back and forth quite a few times. I am taking, this might not look pigmented to you, but I'm taking the tiniest bit on my brush and wiggling gently with the lightest pressure just because I don't want this to go too crazy too soon. I'm just more putting down the colour rather than having amazing blending this right now. Okay, I see you. I see you. Then I want to go in with Sorcery, which is this nice purple colour here, um, on a Beauty Bay. What is this? BB204 brush and work this around the purple. I'm a bit scared. I am going gently, she says. There are some nice blending out shades in this palette for all the different shades that are there. However, going from the black and to the blue and I don't know, I don't know if there's enough for me. Oh, it's nice. I mean, I'm gonna have to work on the blend 
quite a bit. However, that is layering over nicely. But like I say, I'm just putting the colour down for now. I'm trying to get the pigment on. I need to go back through all of these shades and work on the blend, but so far, I mean, the pigment seems nice. take a grand, the Grand Pumpkin which is this nice bright orange shade here and I'm just going to take it on my PC10 brush and I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm just going to try and go around the edge of that L little, a little, drag it out really lightly And then I'm going to take a little bit of trick or treat, which is this nice pink here on my PC30 brush and just put that between the orange and the purple. I nearly dipped into the wrong shade then. Then I think I'm going to pop a little cut crease on. So what we're going to do on top of this cut crease, oh, shimmers. So the shimmers are raining donuts, which is a nice pink. Ooh, that's nice. Um, what else have we got? Halloween which is more of a berry oh that's nice oh Frankenstein looks nice it's like a corally color oh Hocus Crocus is a shimmery green you know which one I'm gonna choose don't you if you've been here a while you're gonna know which shimmer I'm about to choose I'm just gonna take a flat P Louise brush this is the 7072 brush and I'm hoping for amazing shimmers because the Corpse Bride palette had good shimmers. So I'm going to take Hocus Crocus, which was the shimmery green, obviously. And oh yeah, that picks up quite nicely. And let's see what happens with this. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's pretty. No issues with the shimmer at all. Revolution, what are you doing, man? What's happened to you? Oh, I love that green shimmer. Nemesis, are you watching this? You need to think seriously about if you're gonna get this palette. I didn't even swatch the blue shimmer. What's going on with life, clone? Oh, that looks really nice as well. Real nice. Why does my hand look so shiny? Wow. I'm going to take a bit of Uncanny, which is this light shimmer here, and put this in the inner corner. When I can find a brush. Just pop a little. Oh yeah, that's nice too. Okay, I'm going a bit mad with this uncanny shade right now, but it's so pretty. Um, wow. Then on my Spectrum B11 brush, I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Broomstick, which is this green here, and just join up the black and the green shimmer. So it's a bit more seamless. At least that is the plan. I really want the rest of the Simpsons collection and I really wanted to order it on Beauty Bay um, because I have free next day delivery, well supposedly, um, but a lot of what I want is out of stock and this is a limited edition collection obviously it's for Halloween and I just think it's nice as a collector's kind of thing because I absolutely love The Simpsons, I like makeup, um, now I've tried this palette, it's making me want the other stuff. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of Keeping It Kodos, which is the lighter green, just on the same brush, 
Oh, Kang and Kudos. I love those aliens. I'm sure one of them is the voice of Homer also. It always sounds like him. For Waterline, I think I'm going to go in with my Barry M. Hive's liner in Dangerous. That needs sharpening. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take a bit of that dark blue bearded lady again, and this is just an Amorphe unnamed brush from a set. And just bring that onto the lower lash line. And then I think I want to go into the Grand Pumpkin again, which is the orange. Don't go from orange to blue usually because the blend is not the best, but it's just, I'm just stamping it on the lower lash line. We're not trying to make an amazing blend so that's fine and then I'm going to go into super fun happy slide which is the yellow I'm far too excited about the names of this shades on this palette then I'm going to take a little bit of trick or treat which was the pink and just fandangle the lower lash line a bit until I'm happy. Look, I can't be normal and just do a neutral lip. I know it's probably a bit OTT now that I have added the bright pink lip and I don't care. So I added the Jeffree Star liquid lip in the shade. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then I just tapped a little bit of Raining Donuts, which was the pink shimmer on top. I think it looks nice. I'm going to stick some lashes on and then we'll talk about the palette. So guys, this is the finished look. Lashes are on there, the Doll Beauty lashes, they are the DB57s. Don't know if they do them anymore. Can't seem to find them every time I try and link them. Sorry about that. Um, do these lashes want to stick in you? They're playing ball today. Um, yeah, a bit crazy with the lip, but I'm loving it. I'm living for it. It is a Halloween palette. If you can't go crazy at Halloween with your makeup, then when can you? Um, I love this palette. I'm really glad I picked it up. I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea um, because of the colour story. Um, I feel like a lot of people won't know what to do with this because the shades are laid out here, there and everywhere. Um, if you're used to palettes like this, then that's absolutely fine. I'm used to bright rainbow palettes with shades dotted everywhere. But if you're not used to it like this and it's a bit, you know, jumbled about and you're not going to enjoy the colour story and think of cohesive looks, then it might be a bit more difficult for you. Um, like there is, let me see if I can, there, bend the mirror backwards and it's easier. Um, you can see there is quite like a few pinks if you want to do a pink look. It's just that they're dotted about everywhere. There's a few blues, oranges, greens um there is definitely blending out shades in here and there's a lovely inner corner highlight there is the depth from this black magic shade which does actually look like it's trying to be a black it was a little bit difficult to blend out into the blue um, which is what i was worried about um a little bit dry however better than revolution's normal formula i'm not sure whether this palette is the same quality as the Corpse Bride palette, I'd slightly say that was ranked a little bit higher. This one is just below it. Um, it is really nice though. I'm not disappointed that I've got it at all. Um, I'm happy with the look that I came up with. I think for £20 and the fact it's a Simpsons palette and so many shades that you get, I'd say it's worth it. But you have to really want to use this colour story and like the Simpsons possibly. Um, that might be what draws you in to buy this palette. So there you go guys, uh, that is my first impression of The Simpsons palette. Treehouse of Horror, that's what it's called isn't it? Um, I just love the packaging, I love everything about The Simpsons so you know I'm a sucker for anything like that. I've also got The Matrix palette coming, the Trinity palette because I was obsessed with The Matrix. I watched the first film every weekend for years with one of my best friends. Um, it has got a special place in my heart, as has The Simpsons. Um, but yeah, I'm not disappointed. They haven't let The Simpsons down. I do think it's a good palette, um, but maybe not for everybody. I'd say the shades are layered nicely on top of each other. When I put the purple on top of the blue, it kind of, you know, had a nice gradient. Some of the shades, though, 
it was a bit more difficult to blend out than I'm used to with higher quality palettes for example but I'm definitely not saying that this is a bad palette I really do like this um, but yeah slightly slightly more work needed just a tad so guys let me know what you think to this look and what you think to the Simpsons collection altogether have you picked anything up from the collection I feel like I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> Are my eyelashes everywhere? No, it's okay, they're still attached, it's fine. So guys, if you could please give me a big thumbs up, that would be fantastic, leave me a comment down below. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be amazing because I've got a lot more eyeshadow palette content coming your way. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.